I am thinking of breaking up with my boyfriend after meeting his family. I can't tell if I'm being overdramatic. I have been with my 21F boyfriend 22M, we'll call Andy, for just over a year. Although I have been on lots of dates before him he is my first ever proper relationship. Three days ago he took me his family's house for his dad's birthday family dinner. I was under the assumption that the only people that would be there would be Andy's siblings and parents. I was wrong. His whole family was there. Aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, great-grandparents even distant relatives he hadn't seen in years, his family is very rich and have a huge house able to accommodate everyone. I get very anxious around large groups of people especially when I'm not expecting it and I don't know anyone so I was sticking by Andy's side the whole night engaging in polite conversation with everyone. When everyone was seated for dinner Andy's mum spoke up and asked me if Andy was my first boyfriend. I confirmed and she said I guess I can excuse it then. When I asked her about it she just said I was being so clingy to Andy the whole night and not letting him see his family. I explained my situation about my anxiety to her and all she said was he's a man, he needs his freedom, he doesn't need you stuck at his side. I have always been taught to defend myself so I started to say how I was sure Andy didn't mind and ask her to not bring this up around 30 people but Andy interrupted me and told me not to disrespect his mother like that. I asked him how it was okay for his mother to call me clingy but not okay for me to defend myself and he just told me to be quiet and let his dad enjoy his birthday. I didn't want to create more of a scene so I did that. The only thing that made me feel better was when his older sister said, It's okay I feel that way sometimes as well but still, I kept getting dirty looks from everyone around the table. I was close to tears so before desert came out I told Andy that I didn't feel comfortable or welcome here so I was going to go home. I stood up claimed to be feeling sick and that I was going to go home. No one stopped me but Andy got up followed me out and asked me to stay. At this point I started crying and told him I felt so attacked in that room and I was really upset that he didn't stand up for me or even mention that he initiated some of the hand-holding and sticking together throughout the night. He apologized but I told him I didn't know if I could be with someone like that. That made him start crying asking me not to leave him and that he loved me. I just told him I needed to think and got into my car and drove home. It's been three days and he has sent me a few messages before saying he'd leave me alone. I really like him but I don't know if I can trust him to stand up for me around his family or even others. I also can't help but feel I'm blowing this way out of proportion which is making me feel worse. I really love Andy and I don't want to lose him. Can someone please give me some advice on what I should do? Edit. I just want to make it clear to everyone that one. I'm not usually this bad in social settings. I just wasn't expecting the 30 to 40 people that were there and my anxiety can get the better of me. 2. I am not that upset about his mum calling me clingy, I'm upset that Andy didn't say anything and allowed me to feel humiliated in front of everyone. It was a truly isolating feeling. 3. I didn't mention this earlier because I didn't think it was relevant but Andy's sister, 25F, reached out to me and apologized on behalf of the family saying she regrets not saying more. I am planning on talking to him soon and will leave an update later. Update. I listened to some of the advice you guys have given me and I messaged Andy last night and we met up this morning at a park near my house. I asked him to let me say my piece and then he can come in and say what he wants to say. I told him how the whole situation made me feel, basically what I mentioned in this post, and how I felt disrespected by him and that I don't really care about his excuses as to why he did what he did. I also asked him to give his dad an apology for my behavior and causing a scene at his party as some of the comments made me realize that I maybe didn't handle the situation in the best way possible. Once I was done Andy then told me I had nothing to apologize for and that it was not only his mum that was out of order but him. He told me after all the guests had left his sister gave him and his mum an earful about their behavior and that he was truly sorry about how he treated me. Apparently his mum just meant to make me uncomfortable and not break us up but I'm not so sure I believe that. I made the decision to show Andy the post I made as to one suggestion made by a commenter and some of the responses especially about the comments made about parental enmeshment. When he saw that it really did make him think and agree. He told me he knows I don't care about this but he said as the youngest of his family his brother and cousins used to bully him relentlessly, doing stuff I won't repeat, and the only person who stood up for him was his mother so he has quite a close relationship with her and when the whole situation at dinner went down he freaked out and took his mother's side. He asked for another chance to prove himself to me because he really did love me and he didn't want to lose me. I love Andy and I didn't want this to completely ruin our relationship when this was really the first major thing to happen so I agreed to give him another chance, only if he proved to me that he was willing to stand up for me against his family and that if anything like this happens again, I'm gone. Right now me and Andy are friendly but we are not jumping straight back into our relationship as we were before just for the time being. 
I'm not asking him to choose between me or his family, I'm not that kind of person, but I did ask to meet his family again, maybe in a quieter setting and try start over. If his mum is still cold to me slash making me upset then I'll figure out what to do next from there. Fortunately me and Andy's sister have been messaging a lot so I know that she is in my corner. As for people talking about managing my anxiety I already see someone for that. Thanks for suggesting that to me though. Sorry if this is worded weirdly I'm just trying to get it all out.